Kamikaze, drones and missiles were fired. For the first time in its history, Iran attacked Israel from its own territory. On the brink of total war in the Middle East, Iran's expected retaliation arrived. After the attack on the Iranian consulate in the Syrian capital Damascus on April 1, the Revolutionary Guards responded to Israel in an unprecedented way. The operation is called True Promise. 170 kamikaze drones, 30 cruise missiles and 120 ballistic missiles were fired at Israel from Iranian territory. The drones took off first. That's how they flew over Iraq and Jordan. Then the faster missiles were launched. Minutes before the attack, Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu, in a video message, said that whoever harms us, we will harm them. He immediately convened his war cabinet and the button was pressed to strike back at Iran. When Israel's air defense system was activated, there were explosions in Jerusalem, Tel Aviv and many other cities. These historic images were recorded above the Israeli parliament and in the skies over Al-Aqsa Mosque. Iran's proxy forces in Iraq and Yemen joined the retaliatory operation. No lives were lost and a child was wounded. In Iran, Israeli army spokesman Hagari announced that 99% of the more than 300 IV missiles fired at the country had been intercepted. Some of the 120 ballistic missiles fired managed to penetrate Israeli defenses and hit the Nevatim Air Base in the south. There was minor damage to infrastructure. The Israeli military posted a video from the base at dawn to show that the facility was still operational. Iran issued a written statement through its mission to the United Nations saying, we have exercised our right to self-defense under Article 501 of the UN Charter. We responded to the Israeli attack on our consulate in Damascus. The matter is closed. If Israel strikes again, Iran's response will be even harsher. The message to the United States is that this is a conflict between Iran and Israel. The message was to stay away. After Iran ended the wave of Iranian attacks, restrictions were lifted in Israel. The country's airspace was reopened. Prime Minister Netanyahu made a statement on social media and said, We caught them, we repelled them, and together we will win. Israeli Defense Minister Gallant said, We repelled the first wave of attacks, but it is not over yet.